What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing and today we are back at the pond and we're going to be doing a little bit more stocking. We've got some red-eared sunfish, some shell crackers as they're better known as to help out with any parasites that may come up. We know we need some of those so we got some of those. We got some more small bluegill because we think the bass are actually starting to get the clue that you need to eat that bluegill. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing in this video, but you know what, let's roll the intro and let's go to the fish farm where we picked up these things. Let's go. All right, everybody, we are here at Pettit Catfish Fish Farms. We're gonna grab some red ears. We're gonna grab some red ear to uh, shell crackers. And uh, we're gonna, gonna go take it to the pond today. That's gonna be today's video is stocking the pond again. So we're gonna get some shell crackers. We're gonna get some bluegill, anything to make those bass fat and happy so we can rip some lips. So here we go. We, we know we need at least 100 red ears, uh, shell crackers. Chris, how many bluegill? Show you a picture of that bass got a few minutes ago. You can tell it was right then because I got the same shirt on. <laughs> that might be the only shirt you own. <laughs> oh, I got two. <laughs> I hope you got all that jibber jabbers on. I did. I did. Every town apparently has got that old folks group that you know meets at the Jacks or the McDonald's every morning. We just met the leader of the local one here. Uh, you know, fishermen love to tell wives' tales and stories and half truths. That guy may very well have a big pond with big bass in it, but I don't know. If I caught the state record, I would definitely want it to go down in the books that I caught the state record. And he's saying he's got them in his pond and he catches them all the time. One guy just said he caught a 20-pounder today out of the pond. And if you catch him that often, as often as he says he does, I would go ahead and cull one just so I could have the state record. Just me, but that's just me. 
What would you do, Chris? If you caught the state record in your own pond, would you have it certified? I'd have it certified, then I'd eat it. <laughs> With some barbecue sauce. We're not doing the barbecue sauce again. So there you go, we got 200 bluegill. We got 100 of the uh, shell crackers, the red ears. Um, and we're gonna unload these guys. We're gonna get them in the water. Here they are, they're right there. They made the trip, they're in the bag. We're gonna release those guys. We're gonna put them right around the feeder, I think. Um, is that where we're putting them? Just right there where it's yeah. clear. Yeah. yeah, right there. Right over there and around, right around the feeder. And then we're gonna start some a little bit of fishing, see if we can't get a, Get our dangle on a little bit. Get our bite on. Now that's a bag, son. <laughs> Look at that. That is a bag. That's a bag of fish. Is it a little heavy? A little heavy. A little heavy? Okie dokie folks, I got y'all on my chesty just below my breasty. We're gonna use a little shaky tail worm, which is what Chris beat me in in our last challenge. I'm gonna see if I can uh, actually figure out how to use it. I'm gonna go with a little 16th, 1 16th ounce. Uh, woo tungsten weight, I got a little bead stop there. A little weight stop, Chris is following me he's in scrubs and boots and a jacket you know just your typical look come on fish where y'all at we're always right here oh there's fish oh shoot dad gum it he nibbled on it twice and I, I set the hook on him too hard dad gum it let's try again oh there's fish there there we go There we go. Nice little bass. There he is. Look at that hook set on him. Look at him. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, I waited till you had it just right. There we go. Nice little fella. I mean, he's a little fella. All right. Go back, go back home. There's one. He hit that pretty solidly too. I just let him hit it twice. Let him run with it just a little bit longer than you would want to. You really feel comfortable. It's just kind of uncomfortable letting him hit it that long. You're worried about gut hooking him if it was a bigger fish. But again, those are smaller fish. So you're not going to gut hook them. getting bit yeah there we go he's a little little one we're gonna give y'all a measurement of these fellas the one I had earlier was definitely bigger I mean this could have been one of the guys Chris just put in there a couple months ago he's uh he's four ounces i'm gonna say nine he's nine inches i mean little little folks little folks he gone all right everybody i hope you enjoyed today's video we got a couple more fish in the pond we caught a couple bass they're still small but getting bigger we're getting a lot more movement things are starting to look up for the mega bass factory so with all that being said, if you liked today's video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please do. Hit the red subscribe button below. Hit the little ding dong notification. It will send you an email anytime we send if we put out a new video. And of course, leave me a comment below. Things you want me and Chris to do, whether it be at the pond, at a lake, you name it. Throw it down a challenge. We'll do it. That's it for us today. This is for Bee Fishing. We'll catch you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,